body its shape and provide physical supports for the systems contained within. It also forms a part of musculoskeletal system that enables us to move. I'm Marwan Mubakir and today we're going to talk about the bone. So what is the bone made of and how the bone reacts to a fracture? The structure of the bone is optimized so that it is strong but relatively lightweight. We all know that the bone is very very hard, that's a given, but they're more than that. They're actually what we call a composite material made up of two different types of elements that when combined make something very very special and very unique. The first one is an organic compound, which is collagen, and that gives the body its flexibility and its durability. The second one is a mineral compound, which is calcium phosphate, and that gives the bone its strength and its structure. Combining the two makes the bone a unique material that it is. Let's do an experiment to separate these two key ingredients to understand the critical role that each one plays. For the first experiment, I'll burn a bone and the fire has taken out all the organic material, leaving just the calcium phosphate. And if our bones are made up of just calcium phosphate, then that what would happen. For the second experiment, I'll do the exact opposite of the first experiment. I mean, I will put a little bit of vinegar into a container, then I will add a strong bone. The vinegar will take off all the mineral components, which is calcium phosphate. And if our bones are made up of just collagen, then that what would happen. After one week, the bone becomes squishy and flexible. Our skeletons have evolved to resist most fractures, but the extreme loading associated with the trauma can create stress and strains within bone tissue to create a fracture. Following the fracturing of the bone, a blood clot forms between the two broken bones and various inflammatory mediators are released at the site of damage, which record cells involved to the repair process. Following inflammation, connective tissues such as a cartilage starts building a bridge between the two ends of the broken bones. New blood vessels start forming by the process of angiogenesis to replace the last vessel's blood that were lost as a result of the fracture. Cells associate with the new blood vessels for the formation of a new bone tissue. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.